hi everybody and welcome back to my channel today i am doing a wash day i hope that y'all really enjoy yes 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 it was time to get all of this gel out of my hair my hair was full of gel y'all i'm like oh my goodness so i'm just going in here drenching my hair making sure i just get it all the way wet you want to make sure that you are doing this part okay really get in there if you are low porosity and drench your hair okay because you want to make sure that it's fully wet so you can get it prepared for this shampoo and all of that jazz yes so i'm using one of my favorite shampoos it is absolutely amazing which is the cream of nature this is a um a real moisturizing shampoo and so i use this like on a weekly basis and on my clarifying days i will go in with a sulfate shampoo and really go in and get in get that gunk gunk everything up out of my hair that has built up over the whole month okay so this is how i do my hair and all of this and i just want y'all to see exactly what i do on my wash days now for this wash day, I will not be using a um, a conditioner right after my shampoo. What I will be doing is going in with my uh, deep conditioner, which is the Cantu Shea Butter, which is absolutely amazing. And it really melts and penetrates into my hair really well. And this is one of the products that has really started to grow my hair. So if you are having trouble out there, you can try this product out. It is the Cantu Deep Conditioner. Um, really gets in there and penetrates your hair really well. Also, I will be going in after, when it, when it comes to my moisturization, I will be going in with the Cantu. No, this time I won't be going in with the Cantu uh, leave-in. But normally I would. So at this point, I am fixed to start. Uh, part my hair into fours because if you are uh, struggling with doing your whole head make sure that you part your hair into fours so you will have such a hard time okay this really really helps out especially if you have that 4c hair and all of that so you want to make sure that you are doing this part as well but I will be using the uh, Cream of Nature uh, spray leave-in on today. Normally, I will use my Cantu leave-in conditioner. It is a cream. It is absolutely amazing. And it really softens the hair real well. It is real soft to the touch. So if it's really soft to the touch, what do you think it's going to do to your hair? It's really going to soften your hair and penetrate your hair really well. So right here, I am getting ready to use those products that I mentioned on my hair. So you all can see exactly what I do. Now, you want to make sure that you use whatever works for you. If you find a product that does not uh, agree with your hair, does, do not use it. And, and at the end of this video, I will be showing you guys um, how products... If, if my hair does not agree with a product, it will shed, shed, shed real bad. And also, if um, it needs a trim. This is how my hair lets me know it's time for a trim, okay? So, I said I'm going to start really listening and paying attention to my hair. So, this is the Cantu Shea Butter. Y'all, look at my hair. I finally got finished. Sorry for the interruption. My husband called. He don't have a y'all. On his way back home, he's been gone for work for three days, so he had to leave with his job. So he's on his way. But anywho, time to keep this hair up, okay? Y'all, I'm gonna do y'all a series on my wash days, but not right now. I'm gonna do one though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go step by step what I do uh, each. Uh, through, through, through the series like I'm gonna do a wash day and then like I'm gonna tell y'all everything I do you know with washing my hair then I'm gonna do the deep conditioning part then I'm gonna do the moisturizing part then I'm gonna do the blow drying part um, all of that stuff okay so y'all stay tuned if you are new here go ahead and subscribe because you want to be a part of this amazing diamond family okay so go ahead and do that for your girl
Oh, can I bring that? So what I'm doing right now, if you are new here, I'm supposed to get ready to heat my hair so we can get this deep condition to penetrate in the streams, okay? So, yeah, I just wanted to go do a series on this wash day and all of that stuff. And each time I do it, I might not show the wash day and I might show the wash day, you know? Like, if I'm doing the deep conditioning part, I just might show the deep conditioning part of it. So on and so forth. So like that. Yeah, I like so. Anywho, um, I hope y'all are enjoying y'all Sunday on today. Y'all, I was watching church, and that's one of the reasons why I had to do a voiceover the first time. But we gonna get this thing on the road. Oh, yeah. So I always deep condition it because I am going through that um, growth um, journey again. So yeah, so um, that is what we are doing. The next uh, journey, growth journey I do, because I'm going to check my hair in about six months. What is it? That six month mark. When I cut my hair, it was in June. Okay. So we're going to go when I do the six month thing we're gonna go on to another six months okay because i like to really check my hair like after a year okay i really like to go and check my hair so but i want y'all to be on this journey with me okay if you just do or you know you just started this journey and you don't know what to do how to do it listen you are in the right place okay because i'm going to show you because listen i need to let y'all know if you are new here if you have been watching me for years you know um, that I hadn't been having any hair growth for years until after I took the perm out of my head. That's when I really started seeing growth. My hair would not grow past my ears. Now it's down here, okay? So that lets you know that I know what I'm doing, okay? But you also are going to have setbacks. Believe me when I tell you. You're going to have setbacks because, you, you, you know, if you start off washing your hair every... Uh, I used to wash my hair when I first started out, like three times a week. Then it went to uh, probably two times a week. Then it went to one time a week. Then it went to two weeks. And then when I went to that two weeks, y'all, I got lazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. And so that's kind of what set me back. Now, if I had to stay on that right journey of washing my hair every week, my hair would probably be blooming way down here somewhere. But since I didn't, you, you have to stay on what you're doing, okay? Because your hair would show it if you're not doing it. Now, I didn't lose no hair and all of that stuff, a lot of hair and all that stuff, but I wasn't trimming the way that I should either. Not, I wasn't listening to my hair. That is the number one thing. You need to listen to your hair. First, you need to love it. That's the first thing. First and foremost, love your hair. It's yours. God gave it to you. But the second thing, you need to listen to your hair, what it needs, what it wants, and all of that. If my hair is really shedding, that lets me know that it's time for a trim. If I can't, like if I'm having trouble detangling my hair when I'm handling my hair, that lets me know it's time for a trim. And it's getting ready to be time for a little uh, uh, dusting, if you will. I'm just going to dust because I did give myself a good trim, so I'm not going to go and trim off my hair again, okay? It's growing. So I'm going to dust my ends. So that will be the next trim that I do is dusting my ends. I'm not going to go all the way in and clip off a lot like I did the first time. The first time was a restart, okay? So sometimes you have to just restart and come go back to what you know, what you were doing, and stay on that path. Don't get off of it because if you get off of it, then your hair is going to get off the path that it was going, what it was doing, and that is growing for you, okay? So I'm just learning so much about my natural hair. I'm so, so happy, y'all, that I've learned so much, you know, because I was dumbfounded. I was dumbfounded, didn't know what to do until I got on YouTube and figured it all out. Like, okay, my hair is feeling rough and rugged because I'm not deep conditioning. Okay, once I start deep conditioning my hair, that's when it starts softening up and start feeling good. So I was like, hey, I'm just going to keep on doing that. So if you find something that's really working for your hair, continue to do it. Don't start using all these other products because everybody's telling you to use it. Do what you know to do. However, your hair responds to it and, and stay on that path, okay? And that's one of the things I'm doing because, listen, y'all, where's my shampoo? Oh, I put my shampoo on, but y'all see what I wash my hair with. I had to go back and get it because it is a, it is a moisturizing shampoo, okay? So you want to make sure, I'm telling you, if, if your hair loves it, then stick with it. 
Now, I do use this. I've been using Cantu for years, y'all. I'm sorry. I love it. I love it. I love it. Until I find something that will outdo these two, honey, I will continue on this path that I'm on, okay? So, yeah. So, this is for those that are just starting out and trying to learn what to do. Deep condition. That's your number one best bet. That will stop all of those brittle ends, uh, all of that stuff, the, the Hair just feeling so straw like, so tough, so rough. My hair is soft, y'all. It's soft. So let's get with the heating part of this thing, okay? So right here, I am getting all of that deep conditioning, out, deep conditioner out of my head. You want to make sure that you are doing this part because you don't want any irritation building up on your scalp. So make sure that you really thoroughly rinse this out of your head because you don't want no irritated scalp, which will be itchy and all of that jazz. So I also make sure I get the, the back of my head real well, the crown of my head real well because you want to make sure like i said to get this all out of your head before you start um your moisturizing uh, process because you want to make sure that your hair is fully rinsed out okay so that is what i am doing right now i hope that so far y'all are enjoying this video if you are go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also like the video like the video like i said give it a thumbs up leave a comment at the bottom what products do you use in your hair um help some of, help some of us out out here in the um comment section that might need help if you find a product that's working for your hair also hit that subscribe button so now i'm going in to use these absolutely great products now i am going to be uh, spraying this which is the yeah, I always forget the name of this cream of nature, which is mixed with a oil. I absolutely love this spray right here, y'all. It really gets in there, penetrates, and does a great job at moisturization. And so I'm going to give my hair a great massage. And that other product I will be doing my twist with, y'all. So that would be the cream of it okay so i do the lock method as well but as y'all can see i'm you i'm really enjoying this massage this will get your um your scalp the blood flowing to your scalp and all of that jazz and as y'all can see i do have a spot up in my head but it is growing back so yeah i'm gonna have to do a ball spot uh checkup for you guys so y'all can see that it is growing back it's just been a long time y'all it's just been a long time coming but it's doing it and uh you want to make sure that you are massaging around your edges as well because like i said it would get that uh blood flowing and all that in your hair to growing okay so just do these healthy practices on your hair on your hair and scalp and watch your hair flourish okay i love you guys Y'all, I want to show y'all how I know my hair either it needs a trim or it's not happy with a product. This is how I know. Look at this hair. This is not good. Like, hair everywhere. Like, look, it's all over my clothes. My hair does not do this kind of stuff. Hair all over my clothes, y'all. It doesn't do this. Hair even on the floor. Like, no. That's how I know it's either time for a trim time for a trim or it's my hair don't like the product. And I've been using this other shampoo and I don't know if that's what the issue is, but I'm going to dust my ends um, when I get some new scissors and I'm going to see what happens because listen, I'm not going to cut a lot off, but it's either the, it's either the product that I'm using, the, the other, uh, um, uh, and then your hair gets used to products. So it could be that I changed up my uh, my shampoo, you know, and stuff like that. So my hair shows me things. When it's not happy, this is what it does. It's just either. But a lot of this is shed hair. It, it is. It's a lot. But I'm telling y'all, I don't have hair all over the place like that. Unless there's something going on. Unless it needs a trim or... 
unless it, it's a new product that my hair just does not agree with. It'll do that. I love you guys, and I will see you and everybody else in my next video. Be blessed.